of change problem or a related rates problem about how quickly the distance between an airplane and a radar station on the ground is changing. So I found this figure and I had to change one of the numbers, but this is basically what's happening. Um, they tell us that it's flying horizontally. That would be this at a speed of 580 miles an hour. So that, oh, you can't see that. Let's just leave it here then. That would be dx dt. That's the rate at which x is changing. So we're going to need that later. What we are looking for is the rate at which the distance from the plane to the station is increasing. So that's our variable ds, and we want to know what ds dt equals when x equals 4. So that's what the rest of those, oh dear, here we go. That's what the rest of that question is telling us. Okay, so the two miles is fixed. The speed is how quickly x is changing, so it's dx dt, and it's 580 miles an hour. And we want the rate of change of the distance from the plane to the station. That's going to be this variable s, so we want ds dt when x is 4. And so if you look at this, what you see is a right triangle. And we're interested in sides and the hypotenuse. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem and say that 2 squared plus x squared equals the hypotenuse squared, which is s squared. And then we take the derivative. Um, the derivative of a constant is 0 plus 2x. Now, because the derivative is with respect to t and not x, we have to multiply by dx dt. That's implicit differentiation. And then we take the derivative of this, which is 2s. Then, again, it's the derivative with respect to t, not s. So we need implicit differentiation here, and we have to multiply by ds dt. Now, this is what we're looking for. So if we would solve for this, we could divide both sides by 2s. We can divide 0 by 2s, but it won't change anything. That's just gone. And the 2s cancel. So what we find is that we have x over s times dx dt, and that, these are canceled, is what we're looking for, ds dt. Now, we know what x is. They tell us right here. We know what dx dt is. They tell us right here. So we have, in place of this x, we have 4, and we have 580 in place of dx dt. But what are we going to replace s with? Well, if we fix x at 4, maybe I should make that a different color we can see. If we replace x with 4, now I have the Pythagorean theorem that says that 2 squared plus 4 squared equals s squared. And I can figure out what s is. So this is 4 plus 16 is 20. And then when I take the square root, I get that s is the square root of 
Well, it's really plus or minus the square root of 20, but um, this is a positive number. It's the hypotenuse. And the square root of 20 is 4 times 5, which makes this 2 times the square root of 5. And that's a number. Um, that equals 4 divided by 2 divided by the square root of 5 times 580. Rounded, well, that's 518.768. And it says round to the nearest whole number. This is a 1. I can't tell. Let me make it clear. Um, rounded to the nearest whole number, the answer would be 519. Um, this is the rate at which the distance is changing. The distance is in miles per, and our units of time are hours. Miles per hour. So that airplane is getting farther and farther away from the radar station at a rate of 519 miles per hour. And that's the answer.